Hey everyone, I've tried to make this video a million times. This is gonna be the take that sticks, I swear. It's been a while, I always say that. I wanna change that, I don't want. My video to start with, hey guys, it's been a while, I haven't made a video in a year. I wanna be consistent, I wanna actually make videos and share with you guys. I have a lot of fun stuff and just, I really wanna share. I have some fun BJD stuff to chat about, I have some fun toys. I have some fun non-BJD doll stuff to chat about, so I have stuff in the works, I just need to do it. Anyway, today we're here to talk about Precious Moments Disney Dolls by the doll maker Linda Rick. They're so freaking cute. Personally, I've never been a fan of Precious Moments before. I think they're cute, but I've never collected them or had any desire to until last year, I guess. I went to Disney World on my birthday and I went again this year. And I got lucky because I guess they go to the parks around the same time. So the deal is these dolls are only available in Disney World or Disneyland. And they're only available certain times of the year. They're available for like a few weeks at a time or maybe like a month or so at a time. And then they'll leave and then come back. And then Disney World, at least, they've been in the same two places. So I think they're they continue. I don't know about Disneyland, I've only been there once. But in Disney World, they're in Epcot in Disney Springs. And I forget the name of the store, it's either called Once Upon a Toy, or it's whatever store has the word toy in it. And it's the one kind of near Pin Traders. It's like past the big World of Disney store, like the, the big store. There's like some smaller ones, and then there's that toy store. Um, and they had like a table, and I believe they had them last year as well. And then you can also find them in Epcot in the World Showcase in the United States. And they're about the same place, um, basically in the open square near where the, the town hall looking place is. Uh, and I think that's also across from like the theater. You can find them in both places. It looked like they had a little bit of a different assortment, not by much, but it seemed like they had a few different dolls available. The other fun thing is they also do limited edition dolls. So while the classic core line has all your favorite characters in their classic outfits, they'll do limited edition lines that have just a new outfit for whatever the season is. So I know they've done Christmas, Halloween I've seen, um, I have a spring one, and I imagine they maybe do a few others, but those are limited edition. So those, once they sell out, they're probably gone forever. They did have a leftover Valentine's Day Alice, I think. So that was cute, but they, um, once they're gone, they're gone. I haven't really seen much review online about them, so I thought this would be fun. I have four of them. So first, I'm going to start with my first ever Precious Moments Disney doll. I actually got her with Ursula, so I'll show Ursula next. But here is my Princess Ariel. She's gorgeous. And then her tag just says Classic Ariel, Disney. They do make, I want to say they make three or four classic Ariels. They have this princess dress, they also have her um, blue dress that she does um, Kiss the Girl, she wears for Kiss the Girl in. She also has a mermaid outfit, and she may have another princess outfit that's like a classic one, um, but she has this really cute blue uh, seashell in her hair. Starfish is the word I'm looking for. Um, but I think this dress is gorgeous, it kind of looks like the color of her mermaid tail, and then she has this really beautiful kind of, how would I call this? Just this really beautiful iridescent skirt, and then under it she has like the underskirt that's the same color as the top. She also has these really cute iridescent puffy sleeves. There's like a stripe of iridescent fabric here, and she has just this really cute shiny, shiny red hair. I just love it. And then she has bloomers underneath and these very cute uh, aqua blue shoes, like the dress. And then she also has a stand. They do not come with the stand, but I highly recommend I don't think they can stand on their own. And then I like to put the stand under the dress. Not only does it um, just help hide everything, so you don't have to see the stand, you can't tell it's there, but they're standing. It also sort of puffs the dress out a little bit, which is fun, and gives it that super puffy look, which is perfect for a mermaid dress, or a princess dress, rather. Um, or in this case, a mermaid princess. Appropriate. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys is Ursula. So I believe these dolls are about, I think they're about 
or so for the basic ones and then the limited edition dolls are 60 and then the smaller ones are a little less but here is Ursula she's super cool I think they're technically all the same mold I don't know if the mold changes but their skin tones seem to so Ursula is purple and she's just super cool she has this really awesome white beehive hairdo she has a gold shell necklace with Ariel's voice and then she has this really cool black and purple dress that looks like an octopus. And then her tag just says classic Ursula. And then underneath she has some tool and she has these black shoes. And she's just super, super cool. Um, they also have other villains. They have the mall. They have Mother Gothel. They have Corel Deville who looks really cool. Captain Hook, Gaston, Lady Tremaine. Uh, Maleficent's really, really cool. So I thought these were awesome. For my birthday this year, I got two more dolls. So this one's a mini Ariel. She's in a seashell. So you can actually take her out, but the shell looks like this. I think it's like paper mache. And the inside, it's really colorful, but the fun thing is the shell works as her stand. So you don't need a stand for this mini one. And I just think this one is so precious. This Ariel doll is plush from the waist down, which is really fun. And she has this really cute iridescent tail. And she has this really cute, it's definitely, I feel like it's different material than my other Ariel, but it's curly, it's cute red hair. She also has a starfish, and this time she has a little crown. And then she has a pearl necklace, and she has the, um, I guess it's the shell bra. So super cute. And, oh, I love it. Super, super, super cute. And it makes for a really great collecting piece. Um, I just love that she's in a little shell. I think that's so cute. And then lastly is another new one I got just a few days ago. And my fiance offered to get me three dolls. I don't know why I passed it up. I decided, I almost decided to get no dolls and then I got two more. So, I thought maybe I should just stick to the Little Mermaid theme, but I I love Rapunzel, and I thought I really need a Rapunzel. So, here is my, I love this one, here is my Pretty As Can Be Rapunzel, Pale Blonde. So I think there was a few different versions, but Pretty As Can Be is the new spring line. So she's pretty much the same as the regular Rapunzel, it's just, I think this is like a different material, it's like a really soft, almost like a nightgown material, um, and it's pink. The classic one, it has a purple dress, but she has this really cute pearl tiara. And she has this beautiful ribbon going throughout her dress, and then also in her hair. And her braid is so long, I love it. And then, super fun in the back. So first, in the back here, we have a lock of brown hair. And that's where Mother Gothel cut her hair as a baby, which I thought was really cool. I think the woman said that all the, the larger Rapunzels have that, um, except for there is a version of Rapunzel that has short brown hair, which is fun. Um, and then she has this really cute bow in the back. Oh, I didn't show off her shoes. There are her shoes. <laughs> so if you guys collect, let me know down below. Or if you're interested, if you have any questions, let me know. Maybe I can answer them. Um, but yeah. I just love them so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.